Hi beautiful humans, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie. We're digging into a what can be considered terrifying transition in your life going to college. With that said, I'm here to tell you all the college advice I wish I knew for graduating at 22. This is really it. Learn a lot of stuff. I'll try. You'll be a frequent visitor. I'll be a frequent visitor. Let's start with my background because if this is the first video you've ever seen from me, that's pretty cool. But I do have a lot of college videos, whether that was tips or vlogs. So you can definitely go and check those out if you want to watch those. After watching this video, or if you just want to skip and watch those videos, go ahead. Do what you want, your life. The college I went to was Jacksonville University. Go Fins. My major was biology when I was a freshman, and then I changed my major into English. I got in trouble for that too. <laughs> Picking a major. Okay, my honest advice when it comes to picking a major is to make sure that you're taking a lot of electives because you may change your mind when you pick your major and that's 100% fine. The world won't end. No one will get run over by a car because you decide that I don't want to be an artist anymore or a filmmaker or a doctor or a dentist. If I took a class, you know, over the summer before I started freshman year, then I could have got a feel of how biology would have been. And it was difficult for me because I knew I have to take a lot of math classes and science classes and I'm not the best that girl at math. So you just have to know and trust yourself and don't let anyone change your mind if you're feeling good about your major either. Whether it's friends or family, I know they have your best interests at heart. I trust that they do. But sometimes you know best. It's your life. You decided to go to college. You choose your major. And if you change it, the world won't end. That's all I have to say. And definitely pray about it because God, God, God got you in that. God answers every prayer. All right, let's get into friendships and relationships. I have school today. What am I supposed to do all day while you're at school? When it comes to making friends in college, go to orientation, even if it's just for a day. I don't know how orientations are done now. I don't know if they're online or in person. I hope they're in person now, but go to orientations. Being less outgoing doesn't mean you can't make friends. Try to organize study sessions on campus and attend club events, even if it's just for a short while. It's important to have a friend on campus us and vice versa. I'm Miley. I'm your new roommate. Really? Yeah. If your friendships don't last in college, it's okay. But still try to be cordial with that person if you see them. You know. Remember that you're not alone. If you're struggling, it's normal to, especially that first year of college. But always keep a positive mindset. I promise you, it's going to help you grow and help. You may end up making at least one genuine friend, and that's valuable. Liking a girl or guy that doesn't like you back, or trying to be friends with someone who doesn't really want to be friends with you, or they don't put in that effort to make you feel as if you're loved and the friendship is growing and blossoming, that doesn't diminish your value as a person. The value is still in you. Okay, studying and note-taking. What you may have done in high school may not work in college. College is a different beast when it comes to staying organized and studying effectively. Depending on your major, you might need different tools and resources to succeed. It's important to have essential items like a pencil case, sticky notes, a planner, and a laptop or tablet. Additionally, there are numerous apps and websites designed to help you stay organized and manage your life. I've already provided you with some recommendations down below if you're interested in getting into those and hopefully those apps help you move forward and you can be successful in acing your classes or at least, it's hair in my mouth, or at least bringing your grade up in classes. You are an amazing student. You're going to graduate. It's also a good idea to have a few folders. Keep track of physical syllabi. 
I mean syllabus. Staying on top of your emails is crucial. So make sure to check them regularly. As much as you check TikTok or text messages or phone calls or you like to online shop, as much as you do that, check those emails. You know what? Tutoring is good. Finding a tutor who is knowledgeable in your classes can, can be incredibly helpful. Don't hesitate to seek academic assistance when needed. Okay, when it comes to getting down and studying, it's important to minimize distractions. Well, I guess a P.O. box could, in theory, break the chain. Don't you have a paper to write? <laughs> Such as putting your phone away, or if it's people, and also avoid studying in bed. Don't do that. Additionally, don't forget yourself for achieving academic milestones. When it's with, whether it's with extra screen time, your favorite food, or activity you enjoy, taking time to celebrate your accomplishments can be motivating and satisfying. You need some dopamine when you're in college, because college is, mm -hmm. Work-life balance. I did have one work-study job in the library. It was absolutely amazing. But if you're working a full-time job or part-time job, and going to school I've never done that before so yeah just don't overdo it balance is different for everyone but something I do advise you to do is to find out if your college offers mental health find someone you can speak to who can have an outlook on everything going on whether you're doing well or not having someone to talk to can relieve stress and they can give you coping mechanisms to deal with the craziness that is college. This is something I'm glad, I'm glad I had, a counselor or therapist. I had two really good ones in my four years at Jacksonville University. Having someone there, it did help me move forward and walk out that door to graduate. So at least consider it. Hanging out with friends is great, but don't feel pressured to go out all the time. Either if you have to drink to fit in and you don't want to, reconsider your circle. And please, please, please don't ever leave anyone behind when you're out. You need to have a buddy system with your friends and keep an eye out for one another if you plan on going out because the world is still the world. Also, try to have some quality time with yourself. If you can, I know college can get so hectic, you feel like you need to do this, this, and that. Your task list may be so long, your reminders may be screaming at you on your phone. But take three minutes, two minutes, even five minutes. Walk away for a little bit and take some time to yourself. Whether that's listening to music, painting, tennis, boxing, makeup, whatever you're into. Someone you will need more than anyone is God. In yourself to be 100% successful. All right, college culture shock. The decision on which college should I go to shouldn't be influenced on your friends in high school. While there are still clicks, it can be a little clicky, and not everyone may be friendly, it's important, it's important to remain hopeful and open-minded, especially if you see someone you think they're like pretty cool and you want to say hi, say hi. Just say hi or good morning and keep it moving because you never know who you'll meet just by saying hey. It's vital to focus on developing genuine relationships. Oh, yeah. regret is such a bad word. Bad, bad, bad word. Shame, shame, shame. Okay. I guess my regrets as college graduate, uh, going in head first with a major without fully considering all the science and math classes, because I majored in biology. I would have to tackle in the same semester all those science and math classes because they gave me a schedule where I had to take two science classes in one semester. It was overwhelming and I didn't perform well. It would have been helpful to take a summer class related, a summer class related to my major before starting 
the fall semester to get a sense of what was to come. Perhaps it would have been better for me to start my first semester as an undecided major, allowing me to explore elective courses, elective courses that piqued my interest. I really wish I would have known about the social media department at Jacksonville University way before sophomore year. I didn't even know about it. If I knew about it freshman year, who knows where I'll be. Despite the challenges, I'm still happy with my choice of major in English. Even though life after graduation and the present moment have had their difficulties, I believe I'm on the right path and that I have the support of God. So ultimately, I find fulfillment in helping others, which is my primary goal, and I hope I'm doing that in this video. Thank you so much for sitting with me. I hope you subscribe. Comment down below any insight or advice you have on college life so someone can benefit. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and you're less lonely with me.